from recently discovered underwater continents to rare species found on isolated Pacific islands. Here are recent ocean discoveries that could change history. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. But first, we'd like to thank this viewer for leaving us this comment a while back. We'd like to hear from you guys some suggestions on videos you'd like to watch, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 15, Zealandia. Did your teachers ever tell you there were seven continents on planet Earth? Next time they do, remember to ask them about Zealandia, the new eighth continent. This is mostly a submerged landmass, which just recently gained its status as a continent. It was once a part of the supercontinent that separated from Australia and Antarctica when it broke off of Pangaea 170 million years ago. 32 scientists from New Zealand dug into the crust of the mysterious supercontinent and discovered many unique fossils. This included plants that were only found on this continent and various shellfish. Many mysteries about this continent have yet to be solved and more and more discoveries from here should come soon. Number 14, Marshall Islands Underwater Plains. An underwater plane graveyard was finally exposed in 2015, showing more than 150 lost aircraft. With new advancements in technology, finding aircraft that were previously thought vanished in the Pacific are beginning to come to light. Many of the aircraft were simply pushed into the ocean around 1945, but others seem to be shot down. Once it's been determined with sonar, scuba divers are more than eager to investigate for themselves. Scanning the oceans in the South Pacific tends to reveal some very chilling experiments, and the potential of radiation damage to this area is very high. Number 13, Mariana Snailfish. Scientists continue to get excited as they discover life in places that no person could ever imagine. This new species in the photo shows what's known as a Mariana Snailfish, and it's the deepest living creature that scientists know about. From the light in the photo, you can tell that its skin is mainly translucent. It was found about 26,000 feet deep in the Mariana Trenches, which is the deepest part of our oceans. What else might scientists or researchers discover in our own mysterious oceans? And could this hold clues on life on other planets? Number 12, from land to water. A recent discovery of a Vladasaurus was found in limestone quarries in Germany recently of December 2017. This might give us more information about how sea creatures evolved. This reptile we see in the photo shows a skeleton discovered here in an area that was believed to be covered in water. While some creatures such as the Basiliosaurus began developing legs, the discovery seems to show that some evolved on the land and then were best properly suited to become a sea creature. This was possibly due to poor vision and good swimming ability. With a triangular shaped head, as you can tell from this photo, it has a similar skull structure to an eel. It also has larger limbs that were typically for land-dwelling creatures. This discovery also indicates that the Vatosaurus was an earlier cousin of the Pleurosaur. The skeleton also shows that it would have swam through the water in a similar fashion as a sea snake, and it's similar to a modern-day Totoras from New Zealand. Number 11, the Grumman F3 F2. Currently displaying at the National Museum of Naval Aviation in Pensacola, Florida, this amazing looking aircraft is lucky to see the light of day once again. It was attempting a landing on the USS Saratoga when the pilot began experiencing fuel pump problems in San Diego, California. A submersible vehicle was sent down to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean to recover it using their radar. It took another three years for it to be brought back to the surface. Number 10, Underwater Crop Circles. You might be familiar with crop circles on land, on places like farms, etc. But could there be a species of alien down there underwater as well? What's quite strange about this photo, besides the middle part, is that it displays perfect symmetry, which is quite rare in nature. Scientists have explained it as being part of the pufferfish mating behavior. So this raises the question, could it be aliens? The circumference measures 6 feet wide and is found near the Japanese island of Amami Oshima. With it being easier than ever before to explore the bottom of the ocean, we'll continue to learn more. Number 9, Coral Reef Production Beautiful coral reefs may unfortunately become a thing of the past, since coral appears to have a limited ability to adapt with CO2 levels this high and an increase in ocean temperature, their destruction seems inevitable. It appears the only way they will survive is if citizens and lawmakers come together in order to preserve them. The stress brought upon the coral from warmer temperatures has led to what's known as coral bleaching, causing them to turn more white. This then makes them weaker and unable to fight off disease. 
Many species of fish depend on these reefs as a source of food and places to hide from enemies. This makes it a place where vast biodiverse ecosystems can call home. In Australia's Great Barrier Reef, the northern part is already severely bleached and at least 60% of it has been affected. Number 8. Glowing Sea Turtle Have you ever seen a fluorescent turtle before in your life? Probably not, but don't worry, this one isn't radioactive. The critically endangered hawksbill sea turtle is the first biofluorescent turtle to reflect blue light hitting the surface and then reflect a different color. The colors of the sea turtle are actually from a series of bacteria or chemical reactions that allow it to become biofluorescent, not bioluminescent. This discovery was made near the Solomon Islands and was luckily caught on tape. For the moment, it's a little bit difficult to tell exactly why these turtles can light up when exposed to certain lights or how it benefits them. Number 7. Coral Generation Scientists have seemingly discovered a way to bring the coral back to life and keep them from going extinct. Since coral have been going through a lot of stress, their libido has actually diminished. This makes it difficult for them to reproduce. To start making the coral, scientists had to capture reproductive cells from the specimens, bring them back to the lab, and get to work. Normally, this artificial coral is grown to be about the size of a soccer ball in about four years. Once these soccer ball-sized balls of coral go back into the ocean, it should help the restoration of some of the damage done to the reefs. This is a very important experiment because if nothing is done, experts are predicting the end of all coral reefs. Water on Europa Let's take a look at some ocean discoveries on other planets. Until recently, we've always assumed that planet Earth was the only place in our solar system with liquid water, but that certainly isn't the case. Two of Jupiter's moons actually have liquid water beneath the surface of the crust. If that wasn't shocking enough, in the case of Europa, the ocean could be twice the size of all of Earth's oceans. As of right now, most of the water that we know of is in the form of ice. So finding a liquid ocean would not only be a remarkable discovery, but it could also lead to finding life outside of Earth. Imagine Europa's crust like a large sheet of ice over liquid water. Although more advancements are needed to actually explore this body of water, scientists seem to think that it could be a possible place where bacterial life could survive outside of Earth. Number 4. New Zealand Sea Monster in 2013, a mysterious rotting sea monster washed up on the shore of New Zealand. This was found in the Bay of Plenty and it terrified locals. Here in this photo, you can see the long sharp teeth of this ferocious looking beast. A YouTube video was released showing what was left of the half-buried creature. You can see its gaping jaws and half of its body was under sand. The person who found it was curious if anyone on earth knew what it was. There seemed to be a lot of theories out there floating around that it was actually an oversized croc. Other suggestions included a dolphin, a giant moray eel, or even a dinosaur. A marine expert certainly rejected those theories and claims it was indeed a rotting carcass of a killer whale. Still frightening nonetheless. Number 3. Tree Lobster Never heard of a tree lobster before? That's okay, they were believed to have been extinct for the past 80 years until one was found in this remote island. It's located between Australia and New Zealand, and its jagged shape makes it impossible for humans to live there. The giant rock island drops off at a nearly 90 degree angle, making it impossible for other creatures to live there. The tree lobster is in fact a flightless insect about the size of a human hand. This scientist you see in this photo decided to explore this area since some scientists claim to have seen evidence of droppings. This has to make you wonder though, what other animals could still be out there that we once thought were extinct? Number 2. Underwater Waterfall Illusion Just off the coast of the island country of Meridius is this unbelievable view of what appears to be an underwater waterfall. From the aerial vantage point, it almost would seem as though the water is flowing into a pit. But this is a real case of a rare phenomenon where sand at the bottom of the ocean is flowing downwards. You might be able to notice it better on sunny days. You can also see there's an underwater cliff which drops down at a far distance. Some sites claim it could be about 500 feet deep. To the left of this photo, you can see the well-known the Mont Brabon, which is a mountain, and the tropical setting almost seems perfect for an island getaway. Further exploration of this area may lead to more information about Earth's history. But if it doesn't, it seems fun to explore anyways. And number 1. Massive Underwater Volcano Located just east of the country of Japan is a super mega volcano the size of New Mexico or the entire British islands. Also known as the Tamu Massif, researchers originally thought it was a cluster of smaller volcanoes. They soon realized they were wrong. Researchers were shocked when they figured out it was all one big megavolcano comparable to Olympus Mons on Mars. It gets the name Massif, which means massive in French, because it's simply massive. Scientists suggest that several volcanoes all fuse to one. 
They also feel it was created a relatively short time ago, only a few million years or so. Some feel as though the volcano can lead to more insight on Martian landscapes.